Okay, give us an example of this, your favorite party event that happened. They had a huge party up in uh, Gannon Goals. Mm -hmm. And the residents up there, and back then it was predominantly freshman males who lived in there, they thought it was a great idea to take visqueen, seal off the um, bathroom, and have a, a jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> Now, are you talking a flooded jacuzzi? I'm or? talking a flooded jacuzzi in the bathroom. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and, and how many people did you fit into this jacuzzi? I think that 10 or 15 in there. Yeah. That's almost as good as the wreck. Yeah. <laughs> Except much closer to home. But yeah. Yeah. A jacuzzi for you and 15 of your closest friends. Yeah. Not my friends. Not your friends? Yeah. 15 of your closest enemies. Yeah. <laughs> Now, down to brass tacks. Alrighty. WSU is having budget problems, as some of us know. Has the WSU budget problem affected the WSU Police Department at all? We've had a bit of a sting. You know, we haven't been hit as hard as everybody else has, but you know, we, we have felt some of it. How so? Um, some of the operating budget. Oh. Um, yeah, we haven't lost any officers, okay. luckily. Yeah. Now... My overtime's gone, but... Oh, really? Yeah. Do you still work lots of overtime? Right now. Uh, <laughs> are you on the clock right now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I approve. I approve of that right. message. Now, why haven't you built the fence and gotten rid of the illegals? Who gave Amanda my cue cards? <laughs> Amanda did. Amanda. Okay, sorry about that. Now, I've got a pitch that I think might just solve multiple issues at once. You see, if we uh, instituted a new policy where every class was $5 or bring your own beer, <laughs> the university's budget problem not just would be solved, but it would give students a new reason to go to class, a new reason to call WSU a party school, and, well, it'd be a provincial cure for sobriety all around. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, and instead of straight up arresting students for public intoxication, you could just ticket them, and that way you guys would make up your own budget as well. I'm I would love to do that, but we don't get any money out of that. You don't get money for tickets? Nope. No? State. Ah, uh, well, it'd solve the state's problem. <laughs> okay, well, how would you like to solve the WSU budget problem if you could just do anything? If I could do anything? Yeah, anything. Go crazy. Go crazy. I think if the, uh, I don't want to increase taxes. I don't think that would work. I mean, you know, you talked about Walmart. If you put a whole bunch of Walmarts all over the place and you got to sit there a certain percentage off of everything going in, we could solve the budget issue. All right. We should get big corporations yeah. to fund our schools. Yeah. Steve, we got to wrap up. Right. Thank you very much. All right. all right. Now, we'll be right back with more on the Cougar Rapport. Steve Hansen, everybody. What's up? How you doing? I'm Vinny from Jersey, and I got a question for all y'all. How often you heard one of these Daft Punk songs on the radio, and you're all like, I could do that. Well, guess what, dummy? I did do that. And now I'm going to show you how you can do it, too. I'll show you all the secrets, like how to make your voice sound like a robot. Take me to your leader. Danger. Danger. How to make it sound like you went outside the club for some lasagna and a cigarette and then came back into the club. Just give me my lasagna. Plus, I'll teach you all the annoying sounds kids like, like boom, chicka, boom, da bang, da bang, boom, chicka, boom. Yeah, and wah, wah, boom, chicka, and of course, yeah. And if you call now, I'll even include this free robot helmet. It's a guaranteed system. Call now. Bring it down. Welcome back to the Cougar Rapport. Finally, to the meat and potatoes of the show. Stephen Colbert, if you're out there watching this, you better add me to your threat down list because I'm a threat up that's after your job. And everyone knows that younger, more hip remakes are better than the originals. Like computers, governors, 
Batman characters, movies, and even Miley Cyrus. <laughs> well, in case it isn't blatantly obvious by now, not unlike the mole I should have checked, this episode was created because many of us are graduating from WSU and need jobs to jump kick our careers. As you can see, Cougs know how to put on a good production. We bleed crimson and gray, and the only thing we can work harder on than getting the job done right is making the Huskies look bad. Yeah! Am I right? Well, as much as humanly possible, at least we got them beat when it comes to partying. Anywho, we owe a special thanks to the band Ale La Cougs. Woo! Cable Late, the Murrow College of Communication, the Class of 2011, the WSU Police Department, Stephen Colbert providing he doesn't sue us, and more than anything else, you, our audience. From all of us in the Cougar Nation, good night and good luck.